Hello and welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make an origami flapping bird. So to start with what we're going to need is an A4 piece of paper. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one corner and fold it down so that this edge here is parallel with the other one. Pressing it down to form a crease. Once we have the crease, we are going to fold this top piece. It's easier if we do it this way. We're going to fold this top piece down, align in the top corners getting a crease started and then pushing down firmly to create a crease. I'm going to fold it in the opposite direction now that we have got that crease. Scoring it to make sure that it's a nice and defined crease. And then tearing along the creased line. like so and we can now discard this rectangular piece that we've removed opening up now you can see that we have <clears throat> a square piece of paper with a diagonal crease running from one corner to the other now we want to create another diagonal line from this corner to this corner so to achieve that we will take this edge and fold it on down. Align all your edges so that you're happy with them before pressing down to create the crease. If we open this back up now we can see that we have a cross pattern now what we want to do is fold the paper in half again, this time into a rectangle, again aligning both the corners and pressing down firmly to create a crease. If I open this back up for you so you can see where we are, I'm going to now turn this this way and then repeat the same process fold in the paper in half, aligning all the edges, pressing down firmly to create a crease. Once again I'm going to open up the piece of paper so you can see that we've got this. If I turn the paper at 90 degrees, we're going to lift this one edge upwards and see that the lines we've created so far will allow it to fold up like so. Because this crease here is folded in this direction we want to reverse that so it's folded in the opposite direction. So gently using your fingers to manipulate the crease into the opposite direction and then it will fold up like so. Once it's folded up and you've got the two edges, press down and it will create a small square. If I can just show you here, this is what we call the open end, as this end you cannot open 
but this end you can. So let's face the open end towards the bottom. Now we've got a front and a back. So I'm going to take the front flap and bring it in like so. Once I'm happy, score in the crease. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Making sure I'm happy with the fold and then pressing down firmly. So we've got this. Next thing to do is to flip it over and repeat the process. So first we fold in one side. You can use the other side for a guide at this point and then bring in the other side in as well. Okay, I hope you're following along and I hope you got to this stage nice and easy. This next bit is slightly tricky. So we're gonna unfold what we've just done and we're gonna lift up this edge, but we don't want to go over this triangle here. So we're gonna lift up this front edge reverse the folds that we've made manipulating gently with our fingers down once we're happy with the shape that we've got until we've got this and once again we're going to flip this over it helps to pick this small triangle up flap it down and then back so this creates a crease along this edge here and once again separating the paper lifting it up reversing these crease lines in here this is why it's important to create strong crease lines and then it's much easier to reverse them the paper wants to go into the shape that you've created with your creases so by making them firm and strong it makes it much easier to create the shape that we're after. So I'm gonna lift this up now. And you can see here we've got the small triangle facing upwards and we've got these two large triangles facing upwards. These are gonna be the wings of our bird. And then this section and this section are gonna go in to be our head and tail. So we wanna let this fold open and this front piece we want to lift in an upwards direction like so but we don't want it to be straight across we want it to be a, uh, we don't want it to be straight up we want it at a slight angle so when we've got it at the angle we want we're going to press down make a nice strong crease there you can see the pattern that this is made here and then we're going to go ahead and do the same on the other side so what we've done here is we've we've lifted this point reverse fold it comes to this point and again alter the angle so it's the same as the other side 
so we've got this going on here create a strong crease with your fingers and then these wings then will flap back up giving us this lovely shape so I'm gonna have the head here on the left hand side so using my thumb I'm gonna push up and then push the crease down creating a reverse fold and that's gonna give us the head of our bird and then we don't want to create a strong crease what I like to do with the wings is take the point here where the wings go into the head and then fold the wing down slightly I am not creating a strong crease on this side and then exactly the same on the other side folding the wing down till it's in line with the neck again not doing a strong crease holding the neck and the tail and popping this back will make the bird flap its wings this is a classic origami design give it a try I've also created a step-by-step -step guide to create this and hopefully I'm gonna be able to get the link in the description okay Thank you very much, enjoy, goodbye.